23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Kern County Public Health has given local nail salons, tattoo shops, and massage parlors the go-ahead to begin reopening after state officials announced new guidelines for reopening those industries. Now, the establishments will be required to follow detailed guidelines that are issued by the state. You can see some of those by heading to our website, turn to 23com We've got some of them listed out for you if you want to head over there and check them out. Now, the state did say that those recommendations for those industries are not to open any sooner than June 19th, which is a week from today. Well, Kern County firefighters have stopped forward progress on a 30 acre brush fire that started around 315 this afternoon. The so called farm incident has so far burned around 30 acres on, excuse me, near westbound lanes of Highway 58 east of General Beale Road. No word still on whether or not there has been any injuries. Gyms across the state started to reopen today. Nearly all of them have been shut down for months, but now with precautions in place and being able to adhere to social distancing guidelines, they're ready to see members back pumping iron. Some even doing so with extra precautions in mind. Of the gyms we talked to, managers said they'll do things like checking members' temperatures, spacing equipment, and having members wipe down equipment before and after use. Temperatures really falling today. Winds really picking up. We've seen wind gusts over 30 miles per hour for several of our communities here. If you look down toward Edwards uh, Air Force Base, over 40 miles per hour since midnight. So some strong winds in the desert and even some of our valley locations as well. We do have wind advisories that are in effect. The first one uh, for our valley communities in the west side hills gusts up to 35 miles per hour there. That is through midnight tonight. Gusts up to 55 miles per hour for parts of our desert communities. And that goes actually all the way into early Sunday. We'll look at that wind gust forecast for tomorrow. Most of us by tomorrow evening are starting to die down 10 to 15 miles per hour, but look at those desert communities still very windy with gusts 40 to even 50 miles per hour. The temperature is much nicer though, looking at mainly 80s at lower elevations as cool as 60s in our higher elevations. Air quality going to be pretty nice for tomorrow as well. 43 our air quality index. Quick look at the seven day forecast again. Beautiful through the weekend staying in the low to mid 80s. Then we jump right back into the 90s as we head into next week. As far as our mountain communities, 70s and even some 60s tomorrow, then 70s and 80s on Sunday, 90s eventually back toward next week. And that's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23com